Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about things that you can work on to get better at your burpees. So I'm gonna give you a progression of exercises that you should be working on if you want to get stronger at your burpees and do them faster in your conditioning workouts. All right, so point number one, and probably the most important, is you need to be good at push-ups in order to be good at burpees. All right, if you do not have the core strength or the upper body strength to do good push-ups, then you are going to struggle a lot when it comes to burpees. And you're also going to increase your risk of injury because more than likely when you do them in a conditioning workout, you're going to be doing them with poor technique. All right? So the first progression um, and the most basic one is to master either incline push-ups or push-ups from your knees. All right, so once these get easy, then you're gonna move on to the next progression. All right, so push-ups from the knees. I'll be knees down on the ground. My hands are out, right under my shoulders. I'm gonna back my knees away a little bit to provide some space for my torso. And then I'm gonna do good push-ups, 90, 90 degree elbow bend, and pressing all the way back up every time, keeping a good core position. All right, so this is option number one. Option number two is on an incline right here. And I like incline push-ups a lot more than knee push-ups because it offers a lot more um, options for progression. Okay, once I get good at this height right here, I can simply flip the box down and go to a lower height and challenge myself even more. All right, so it's a step-by-step -step progression until I get, can get to a standard push-up. All right, so the incline push-up, I want to make sure I'm in the same good exact push-up position as I would normally be. I'm hitting that 90 degree elbow bend and then I'm coming back up. All right, not compensating at the lower back with the saggy back or hips back here and doing these. That isn't going to develop much core or upper body strength. So you have to choose a progression that allows you to maintain that perfect push-up technique. Okay. So once these two, either of them get easy and you can do them pretty well, then you're gonna to move to a normal standard push-up down onto the ground. All right, so this is a standard push-up position right here. Same concept as the incline, except I'm fighting gravity more, coming all the way down, all the way up. All right. So the more reps you can do with a good position in the standard push-up, will definitely translate a lot better to the burpee, right? Once you're doing it um, in a conditioning workout under fatigue as well. So after you've started to master the standard push-up, the next variation you should be working on is the hand release push-up, right? In a standard push-up when we're coming down, we have a little bit of a stretch reflex at the bottom, meaning I have some momentum coming back up because my, I'm stretching my muscles out and I'm loading them to be able to explode back up. The hand release push-up takes that momentum away. So it forces you to maintain a proper torso position, a tight core, and of course, press up quickly and with power from your upper body, all while maintaining that good position. All right, so I'll show you what that looks like now. If I get into my top push-up position here, I'm gonna come down all the way to the ground. When my hands come up off the ground, now there's no more momentum. I need to plant my hands again, make sure my core is stable, and then pop up fast. All right, down, release the hands, pop up. And you'll notice that my back and my hips are not sagging as I pop back up. All right, so we don't wanna see any of these like that, all right? Because that does not develop core strength, which you'll need when you're doing a lot of burpees, right? Even though burpees tend to fall apart in technique later on, the stronger core you have, the more you're going to be able to resist falling into that poor movement pattern as you get more tired, all right? And your core muscles are gonna be a lot more, a lot stronger in order to support your spine and your hips as you're doing a lot of reps um, of those burpees, all right? And then finally, 
The last progression, once you've mastered all those, a good standard push-up, good hand release push-ups, right, for multiple reps, I'm talking like more than 20 reps at a time before fatiguing, then we can start working on this progression, which is a plyometric push-up. Essentially, we're gonna be coming down. It's not a hand release push-up. We're gonna come down to a 90 degree elbow bend and then we're gonna pop up off the ground fast, all right? So this is very similar to what's kind of going on at the burpee. At the bottom, we wanna come up off the ground fast and then get uh, jumper feet forward um, quickly so that we could get our feet on the ground and then jump up and then go into the next one, all right? So plyometric push-ups are really gonna help you be more explosive and faster uh, in your burpees. So these look like this, regular standard push-up position. I'm gonna come down and then explode up with my hands coming up off the ground. So I'll show you a few reps here. All right, so uh, that is your four step progression in order to improve on your burpees. Do these before in a, a separate session from your conditioning workout as a strength portion or do them as a finisher after the workout. And you might even have these um, programmed in your class during the strength portion. So definitely take advantage of them and you'll see your burpees getting a lot better.